Hi, welcome to Road CC live on Facebook. Um, you're probably looking at me thinking, what's wrong with his neck? What's he done to his neck? Well, I haven't done anything. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to do anything either. Um, this is a Hobding airbag, air collar. Um, so it's an alternative to the to, a, to, to wearing a traditional helmet. Um, and so we've got one in for test. Uh, but you can't really test a collar, I mean you can't really test a helmet without crashing um, and we don't generally do that but we've, we've got the, this airbag um, and it would be more fun to see that go off so uh, Ben from Hovding has yeah. brought one in <laughs> um, so that we can see it go off which is going to involve me riding down here in a minute and throwing myself onto a crash mat in the car park hopefully um, and hopefully we'll be able to do it in one take because I'm not actually very used to crashing um, it's not something I try to practice or ever practice. <laughs> so um, before we do though, um, Ben will tell us a couple of things about the hob thing. Um, first thing people need to remember, Ben, is if they're wearing one of these, is you've got to turn it on. You? Yeah, so you've got to switch it on and off when going on the bike cycling and also when off the bike cycling. So that doesn't mean taking it off completely, but actually to switch it on and off, all it is is this on switch and off switch. So this is switching it off. Mm. and this would be switching it back on. So it's like second nature, just like a clip on a helmet. Well, let's right. hope it's going to be like second nature, because <laughs> uh, I'm going to be reviewing it, and I'm famously absent-minded, um, yeah. or I think I'm going to be reviewing it, uh, <laughs> if I remember. So uh, so that's one thing. I mean, hopefully, you, I'd have thought that, because it, it, it's got an accelerometer, and how it works, it's got an accelerometer in it, and anything else? Like yeah, a, so it's got an accelerometer and a gyro, and yeah. that works off the back of an algorithm, detecting your movements. Yeah. And then in the event of an accident, it would trigger the airbag within a tenth of a second. Right. And they're the mechanics. So, and the idea here is that we're going to try and uh, fool it into thinking that I'm having an accident without me actually having an accident. Um, but in normal scenarios, it's designed not to go off easily yeah. or... Yeah, so it's actually very accurate. We've, we've now had many years to develop it mm -hmm. as well. We've got around about 2,000 rules to the algorithm, so it is quite a complicated one. Yeah. Um, so in terms of actually inflating it accidentally, it's a very, very rare scenario. It does happen, say for instance, if you're avoiding an accident, you take a very abnormal movement. Yeah. But it's very rare that would happen. And if you did do that, what would happen? Because obviously this is a one-use deal. You're not going to be putting this yeah. back. You're not putting the airbag back <laughs> in your collar. Um, what happens then? So we have what we call a crash replacement program. Right. So that would come under a false inflation. Right. If it was to deploy. Right. Obviously we want it to be on the safer side with it deploying than rather it not deploying. Fine. So then at that point we replace it for free if it was a false inflation. If you were in an accident, it would be £99 to replace okay. compared to the 219 you originally And I was going to ask, and yeah. how does that compare to say a top end or to a helmet. I mean, obviously, you can get helmets for 25 quid. Yeah. But, uh, you know. It's a good question. I mean, it depends what you're viewing as top end. This is top end for safety. So, yeah. And with the technology, what's inside of it, that's why it's at the top end of the price of helmets. So, you do see traditional cycling helmets mm -hmm. uh, within that range of 219 plus. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we are toward the top end, but it's got a seven year lifespan. And it's also you will outlive your, your traditional helmet three times over with the option of a crash replacement. Touch wood. You never do use it, yeah. um, but if you do, you've got the option to have a crash report. And this is, obviously, it's not for every type of cycling or cyclist. Yeah. I know you've ridden crits wearing it, you yeah. were telling me, yeah. but generally people wouldn't do that. No. Um, <laughs> so what is it? Is it for urban cycling? Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, it. our full title is Hovding Airbag for Urban Cyclists. Okay. Reason being, we know urban cyclists are quite often in the forefront of traffic, anything dangerous to commute into work so mm -hmm. we want to give them a safer option and that's what Hovding allows cyclists to have is something what's eight times safer than a traditional cycling helmet. Okay so it's eight and how do you work out it's eight times safer? So we've had a few different tests done with Hovding before we've had uh, the most recent and most impressive one I would say is Stanford University and uh -huh. um, they found it to have an eightfold reduction in impact yeah. compared to a traditional cycling helmet reducing the risk yeah. of concussion yeah. by eight times. We've also as well with the Folksons test and the HIT test. Yeah. Um, again, the industry won't tell you much about helmets for this reason. Yeah. Um, is found that it's 
it's your 80%, 88% less likely in one of the tests to have a serious brain injury wearing a hard thing compared to a traditional helmet. So okay. in terms of the safety aspect, it's far greater. But uh, like all helmets, it's yeah. basically CE standard in Europe. I mean, it's European standard. It's, yeah. uh, uh, that's the one it's got the CE. So it's got, the, is it the same CE standard as, yeah. as a traditional helmet? Or? It is, yeah. So but, we all have to comply to certain tests. Yeah. And we've had to make sure that we comply to the CE standard. So the CE so standard is, is not actually a safety mark, though. It's more a, a, a certificate, quality. it's a quality mark. Yeah, yeah. I think so. so it's been yeah. made properly. Yeah. Okie doke. All right, so now I don't think there's anything else I need to say apart from because uh, I'm getting really cold. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to ride this bicycle up there and then I'm going to ride it back down and I'm going to attempt not to miss that map when I throw myself <laughs> off it one. in simulation of um, something bad happening without actually something bad happening. So wish me luck. Take <laughs> one. <laughs> Well done, how does that feel? Well, my knee hurts, but apart from that, <laughs> my head's fine. Wow, yeah, it certainly clamps your neck. Yeah, I mean, so it's quite tight. Sorry about the knee, we'll have to make airbags for the knees well, next. Well, my aim wasn't so good on the old... I knew that would happen. I knew I'd slightly miss the... Um... So there you go. So you can feel it's quite tight around the neck. I can it's feel... It's starting to deflate. Yeah, now it's starting to go down. I can yeah, feel a slight... No problem, so shall I zip that off? Yeah, please, it's, it's... like... So that'll give you a full it's neck like brace as well. It's like coming home from the pub on a Friday night. <laughs> uh, there you go. Well done. Thank you very much. No problem. Yo, Chitler, well, there you go. That is a big helmet, <laughs> as it were. So um, there you go. That's what uh, a Hovding does when it goes off. can genuinely say that... <laughs> I don't know what the crash looked like, but I did my best to, um, <laughs> to throw myself off the bike. Um, uh, and it worked, apart from my poor aim when it comes to landing on the crash mat. There you go. But the Hofding, um, yeah, it did its job. So I'll, I'm impressed. Cheers then. <laughs> so that's me signing off from Road CC on Facebook Live. Remember to look out for any other stuff that we might do on Facebook Live in the future, or, and to check out our YouTube channel, um, which is Road CC on uh, YouTube. Cheers now.